Husband and wife dead after shooting at a Sacramento County nursing home. Fired nursing home employees to split $100,000 sexual harassment settlement. And family sues after video shows nursing home aides haunting woman with dementia. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, August 14th, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office said two bodies, a man and a woman, were found in the room of a memory care section at, a, at Aegis Living Center in Carmichael last Tuesday. Deputies were called out just after 11.30 a.m. after the fire department discovered the man and woman had been shot and killed. The sheriff's office said the woman was a resident of the facility while the man appears to be a visitor. Their names have not yet been released, but deputies say the pair were a husband and wife. The woman lived in the assisted living section of Aegis and just moved back in after being at the hospital. Investigators have not detailed what led up to the shooting, but a spokesperson did say that the investigators aren't looking for any suspects. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office said they are treating it as a homicide. The owner of an Arkansas nursing home has agreed to pay $100,000 to former employees whose sexual harassment and wrongful termination allegations were taken up by the Federal Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, EEOC. In a lawsuit filed last year, the commission argued that Happy Valley Health and Rehabilitation in Melbourne violated federal law when it failed to address female workers' complaints and then fired them. Officials announced the settlement involving the facility's owner, Happy Valley LLC, which resolves the case that had been pending in the Hot Spring Division of the U.S. District Court for the Western District of Arkansas. The EEOC had said it received reports, reports of harassments as early as May 2016 and as recently as May of this year. But court documents and press releases cited by the Democrat Gazette newspaper said it was, quote, common knowledge among Happy Valley employees that if one complained about sexual harassment, the company would terminate the employee. Rather than punishing the harasser, the company would punish those who complained. As a result, several employees decided not to report the harassment for fear of losing their jobs, end quote. The consent decree issued this month requires Happy Valley to pay a combined $100,000 settlement to former employees, provide sexual harassment and re retaliation training for its employees, and create a sexual harassment complaint policy. We'll be back right after this break. CNA TV. Memberships have changed over the years. This has been your long-term care news update. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of NACA. CNA TV. <laughs> Don't miss out on any of the great programming on CNA TV. Subscribe today. Two nursing home aides in North Suburban Glenview have been fired and charged after a Snapchat video showed them taunting a 91-year-old woman with dementia. Her family is now taking legal action. In the video, Margaret Collins appears to be in distress with her arms flailing as she pushes away a hospital gown. Collins' family says the 91-year-old great-grandmother has dementia and was known by workers at her nursing home, Abington of Glenview in Chicago, to dislike hospital gowns. The video of the encounter four days before Christmas was posted on Snapchat with the caption, quote, Margaret hates gowns and two laughing face emojis. The family is now suing the nursing home and the two nursing assistants involved. Brayton Cortez and Jamie Monteza have been charged by, with, by authorities with misdemeanor disorderly conduct. However, Collins' family says the workers remained on the job for two weeks after initially being cleared by administrators. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.